let's just say things are getting gamey, gamey. around here for Christmas. We'll share uh, some game ideas and a recipe, too. It's coming up. Fire it up on Great TV. <laughs> From the birthplace of American barbecue, we are uh, great TV. We're in the Low Country, South Carolina. Jack Waybor, three-time South Carolina state champion in barbecue, and actually, you're the whole hog champion there. We uh, in Waycross, Georgia. Mike's Catering pulled the number one whole hog, which makes us national whole hog champions. Woohoo! Way to go, Mike, and the uh, whole Mike's Catering crew. Good year. I'm Bill West with BarbecueTricks.com. You can get hold of us, Jack at GreatTV.com or Bill at GreatTV.com. Or just go to the website and send us great plate pictures and things like that and, and like us on Facebook. Awesome. Um, getting right into the show today. Let's do it. I like this question because we've never talked about it. We usually stick with the basics. Yeah, we do. Uh, the question is, do you all ever do wild game on the grill? Thanks to uh, Benjamin in North Carolina for sending that in. Benjamin, do you? I, 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 never. I do. Um, I enjoy cooking wild game. And the really great thing about this time of the year, Bill, and we, I, don't, are, we, are we still in the holiday season? I believe we are. Uh, when we're taping the show, um, certainly hunting season is pretty much open nationally right Tony's now. Tony's reminding you, um, we should oh, stop the press. Wait. This is very important. Beer. <laughs> I oh, forgot the... Uh, that's awesome. It's, yeah. It's a show that only takes a beer to watch. There you go. All right. So, so now, I'll continue. Yeah. Um, hunting season is generally open all around, um, especially uh, deer season. Uh, I'm originally uh, from the Pennsylvania area. Pennsylvania opens up right after Thanksgiving. Um, of course, here in South Carolina, deer's been open for a while. But it really, deer's hunting gets fun right about this time of year because the weather cools off and, and everything is, is just better for doing all these things. You're not getting eaten up by the bugs in the woods and all the rest of it that goes along with it. So what I have brought with us today is um, a couple of applications and a couple of ways to deal with wild game. Um, I guess the first thing we'll probably do is talk about the gadget. Um, and probably a good idea to start there because it's the simplest thing to do with wild game. And mm. and grilling, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our gadget this week is this grinder. The gadget this week is a grinder. Now, if you've never really gone out and found yourself a grinder, there's a few things that you got to look at. First of all, you got to make sure that um, you got to put it in your price range, and grinders can go in price from, you know, 50 bucks clear on up. You can get a very nice gadget that go, or a very nice attachment that goes to the end of a KitchenAid mixer. Um, that's a good grinder. Uh, my mother had one when we were growing up. Uh, that's how she made a lot of the ham yeah. salads and stuff like that when she was doing it. But I decided to go out and buy myself a nice, what they call a power grinder. Now, when I... When I bought this, I made sure that, A, I had stainless steel everywhere I could have it. I made sure that the motor could handle what I was doing because when you'd grind meat, you want it to be as cold as possible, almost frozen, if you can get it to that state. So you're going to need a motor that can handle, you know, grinding the meat and making sure that it's good and not heat up on you and, and shut down. And you want to make sure that it's easily cleanable. Everything attaches. Everything goes together. Um, this particular grinder has, um, I bought it um, from... Uh, a company that was I knew was going to be in business for a while, so I needed replacement pieces. Uh, something broke, or I needed to get something uh, you know replaced that would be good. There are always a series of grinding plates on the inside. Um, this is the the coarsest grinding plate that you can get, and this is the thinnest grind the 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 smallest grinding plate that you can get. So what you do basically is um, put your meat in the grinder and you grind it down this size and then you go ahead and grind it down this size in a second time, taking meat from meat cubes, one inch meat cubes to uh, this size at one shot really isn't all that effective. So here. yeah, it goes right in there. You can see it has a little slot right there. You screw that on tight. But make sure, guys, the biggest thing about grinding is you have to make sure that you handle everything as sanitary as possible. 
Make sure you have plenty of cold around. Yeah. Make sure you're wearing gloves. Make sure you're cleaning, you know, effectively. That's why this is also plastic. Yeah, and you that's can, right. All know. cleanable, all ready to go. Because the last thing you need is to pick up a bug somewhere in sausage and grind it all together while you're grinding, and then you have, uh, you know, a yeah, health the, problem of the some whole kind. Batch too. Yeah, the whole and yeah, and the whole batch would get bad. So. Um, you know, if you get deer uh, or an animal of some kind that you want to grind up, the easiest way to handle it is, the easiest way to handle chunks is to make burgers out of it. So show so me, throw when, it in the when you're talking, um, when you're talking about dicing it up for something like that, you want to freeze it or you want to dice it first and then freeze? I, I always take mine, yes, Bill, I take mine, I, I kind of get it, I get it cold and then I dice it up and then I put it back in the freezer until it just gets to that spot. You know, right where it's almost frozen, but it's not frozen. And that'll keep, that kind of keeps the, it makes it easier for the knife to be able to cut it in the grinder while it's whirling. So you're not getting it, because the fibers will string out on you, especially if they're warm. It'll string out on you and you get your, that'll get all gummed up on the inside and won't work as effectively. But if it's cold, really cold as you can get it, then the, um, the meat will cut easy in the grinder. Well, that's, okay, so... Why don't we dice this up? Not necessarily for grinding, but let's work on a little recipe you're gonna you show. It, we're gonna kind of create here. Yeah, this is a this is kind of a fail safe uh, fail safe effort. Um, t uh, we have some venison steak here that that we um, a friend has kindly donated to the cause. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make um, a fail safe, really fail safe um, recipe for. Um, venison and it's all it's going to be done on it can be done on a toothpick we're going to do it on a skewer so you, you take your um venison and you cut it nicely um into cubes about maybe an inch wide and if you can you know if you can get a roast or something like that and make it inch cubes or i'll tell you this this particular cut is best with back strap and back strap is deer tenderloin okay so you cut it into your cubes, just like this. And I'm going to leave these kind of I'm going to leave these kind of long because the steak is kind of thin, so I can double them over. So I'm just going to cut them in half, just like that. And at this point, we can introduce our secret ingredient because, uh, aside from the ingredient being the uh, venison, we'll also use some Italian dressing That's in this right. case. Uh, just a wishbone uh, off the shelf. Off the shelf works pretty good yep. for, for for just. Uh, so then you take you take your meat. And of course, you have a marinator, and or put them in a, in a bag or whatever you're gonna do. Shoot them in the bag, and then, boom, you let them sit for I don't know, maybe hour, two, three, however long you have. Really, the longer it sits in the dressing, the more tender the meat will be. And of course, we know that tender meat is what life is all about. So through the miracle of modern television, we'll take this and throw it in the marinator, and lo and behold, what do we have here? But already marinated you know i love these we uh, got some here already yeah i love these uh um the marinating boxes. yeah this is a uh, uh tupperware piece and i tell you what i got a few of these laying around i love them so through the miracle of modern uh technology here we are we have marinated strap ready to go all we're gonna do is put the meat on a skewer take it out put it on a skewer we're gonna Kind of fold it over once. And we're going to run them down a skewer. When do you get okay? And then okay, just like this. And I always run the meat on the skewer first, and we'll do two or three of them here. There's more. And then, oops, let's go this way. It's better. Make sure when you're cutting the meat, you cut it against the grain, not with the grain. So you make sure you get those fibers shortened up a little bit. I'll do these while you're working on all this stuff. While we're doing all that. And then, what I did was I got some bacon, and you take the bacon, and you scrunch the meat up kind of like that, and then you wrap a piece of bacon around it. You know, I've always wondered about, because how do you keep the bacon from getting, in a recipe like this, from getting too uh, mushy? Too mushy? Yeah. Hmm, I would say you just gotta be, make sure that you're using good meat, and when the bacon is done on this, because you can have, um, you don't have to cook it uh, well done. Um, certainly, you can have the opportunity to have the bacon done, and the uh, the meat will be more or less medium rare on the inside. Okay. So you stick a couple of those in there, fasten the, the 
bacon on there with a toothpick. Do we have the seasoning around anywhere? Yeah, we got to let's grab some Charleston seasoning. I'll just spice her up. I tell you what, you do this enough times, or you do enough of it, and I guarantee you that your people at your party while you're grilling this thing will be very, very happy. So we got the meat on the we got the meat on the skewer. We can go ahead and uh, season it up a little bit with some. What'd you say it was Charleston rub? Yeah, Charleston barbecue rub. I don't we got fire to cook these on. We do. <laughs> that didn't work so good. Season it up to the fire. I'll swap you. And we'll make some more. Hey, while we're uh, loading these up on the grill, let's take a look at some great plates. Great idea. Great idea. Great plates. What a fun. I'm all in favor. Let's see if we cook them all if we're going to cook them. First great plate coming from Derek Stapleton. Look out. Look at these St. Louis style ribs. Man, those side are great. Ribs. Cooked low and slow on the Weber Smoky Mountain Cooker. Thanks, Derek, for sending that in. And we're getting a lot of them at greattv.com. Um, we love great plates, gang. It's real easy just to kind of real fun to upload them and take a look at them. Here's one we're actually kind of catching up. A turkey day brisket. This comes from Ray Perez. Turkey Day brisket, 13.5 pounder on a Char Griller Outlaw. That's a big one. Low and slow all day. He brined it for two days. Two days. Injected. A brined brisket. That's that Ray from, out. from Jersey. Thanks, bud. We I, bet it, I bet it turned out pretty darn skippy. Looks good. All right, let's see how we're doing here. We're mine. We're just finishing up here, getting everything together, getting the bacon wrapped around. Those smell good behind me back there, Bill. They smell awesome. One more piece of bacon, one more piece of meat. Oh, yeah, buddy. Fasten them up so they don't come off. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm working at breakneck pace. How do you keep the wind from blowing your ashes around? Uh, talk to God about that one, Bill. Oh, okay. You can put a shield up, I would imagine. All right. I got a big old chunk of seasoning in there that I'm not going to let go on the. I'm not going to let go on the meat. And then we take a little bit of the seasoning right here. Whoa, man! Look at that. Oh. Off Hold to the grill they go. Hold on to that one. Hold we'll. On we'll one. Uh, We'll cook we'll that one first. Show, because I think we got everything. Do we got everything we need? I will need? show you what we ended up with. All right, we're grinding, right. we're skewering, we're wrapping it with bacon. Man, I, it couldn't get any better than this. Thank God we're going to eat some food. Gang, I got to tell you something. Take a look at that. That's, oh, that looks awesome. It's getting there for sure. It's getting there. Hey, remember uh, to buy local, think global, stay sustainable on every chance you get. Hug your mama.